Hey everybody, this is Delta for Paul Productions. I'm going to do a quick little gear review of the Kelty Focus LED headlamp. Uh, found this on sale probably about three months ago at Target. It's on clearance for like six bucks or something. And, well, my little girl and likes to have headlamps on when she when we camp, so I figure why not get her something like this. It's got some difference. It's a little bit bulky and stuff, but it would be good for a... Um, you know, a, a first first time Bob for its price or get home bag or for your truck kit or anything like that. Um, of course, it comes with fancy Kelty labeled headband. It does pivot. Ooh. Now, it's access to batteries in the back. There's this brass set screw that comes in, comes out, and batteries go in there. It's got some triple A's to make it work there's a push button on top here it's got a couple different functions so I'll go over those with the camera it's got a your standard then it's got a high beam Ta -da. then it has red or you know your night for at night time and then push it one more time it goes off now it also has a strobe feature and all you do is hold it down and it strobes. And to make it stop, you just click it click it off. Um, I haven't really put this through like the ringer yet. Like uh you know, most of my LED lights that I've used in the past, I've I'm still running like old Ener Energizer uh three LEDs like this one here that I've had since probably about oh four, oh three, you know, and they work for what they for what they are. You know, back then they were only nine bucks as well. Uh, but they have some problems with them, especially the switch on top. Yeah, but we already did a review about those. Uh, but anyway, I mean, for the Kelty, though, you can see, you know, compared to some of the other lights, even that one I was just showing you, how, you know, thick it is. It's a lot thicker, thicker lamp. It's also a little bit heavier and bulkier, which is why I said, you know, it's not the best choice. I mean, even, even some of the cheap ones, like this one right here, you know, some of the guys at Paul really think this is the best one ever right here. It's this little uh, pink one here with, like, princess flowers and stuff. And all you do is you turn it on and turn it off. And it's about $4. And they run pretty good. I think I did a review of these a long time ago as well. But, you know, I just happened to find this one and said, you know, being that uber cool survivalist in Nepal, you're going to have to go in style. And, you know, what says style more than pink and lime green with flowers and butterflies on it? So... Plus, it makes a five-year-old happy. Um, but for the Kelty, um, it does pretty good. It has it's pretty, it's pretty bright. It bright it blah, 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 tongue tied there. Sorry, it is bright enough. But like I said, the main the main disadvantages of it is its size. But it would be a good light for you know if you're on a budget for your first time, Bob. If you can find it for the seven to eight dollar price, like I found it, um, it also would do good for a car kit or you know a get home bag or you know even if you stashed it somewhere else. Um, like I said, it's one of the, for, for eight bucks, you know, seven to nine dollars, you can't beat it. Um, LED lit with the strobe, high, high and low beam and, and a red, all in one, and it swivels. But like I said, it is bulky, and it does feel a little bit heavy on the head compared to some of the other, you know, the smaller lights, the Tikas, the, the little cheap four dollar throw, throwaways by Energizer that I just showed you, and even the Energizer, uh, three LED, the first one I lined up against it. Um. But like I said, you know, it does work. Now, I'll probably end up trying to break it, because I am kind of curious why they have this nice, big, heavy brass, you know, screw back here. So I'm assuming they're going to try to say it's waterproof and stuff, so I might actually go fill up the bathtub or the sink and dump it in there and see how long it'll run. So until then, don't run off and buy one thinking I'm saying it's bulletproof. It is. It will more than likely work just like it's intended to work. Put a light in the middle of your forehead um, so if you want something that's cheap if you can find it for the cheap price go ahead and do it if not you know like I said there's better options out there but you know for the cost and for the functions that it has you know run off and get it if you want so I'm Delta hopefully this helped you a little bit and uh, thanks for viewing